Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your realtor friend Camille here in North Carolina. Today I am actually in the office doing some lead generation and outbound calls to a few of the people that are in our CRM system to see where they are in the home buying process. So come along with me while I make a few dials, a few contacts. Most people don't pick up their phones, so <laughs> usually uh, this is not as successful, but we'll see what comes about. Maybe you guys will get to hear a few of the conversations. I'm actually calling from my laptop. The wireless customer number is disconnected. Hello. Hey, Didris. This is Camille with the High Performance Real Estate Advisors. Uh, I was giving you a call because we spoke with you a while back um, regarding buying a home and just calling to see if there was any questions or anything that we can help you out with at this point. Oh, no, nothing at this time. Okay, no worries at all. Well, we just definitely wanted to do our quarterly call and check in with you. So um, if there's not been any changes, we'll probably give you a call in fall to see if how everything is going and if you have any questions. Okay, thank uh, you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh yes, I love when like I see an area code that I grew up in. Hello. Hey Carol, this is Camille with the High Performance Real Estate Advisors. I was giving you a call because we spoke with you some time ago in regards to buying a home and just calling to see where you were in that process. Uh, we, uh, my son found a place to rent and we're not in the market to buy a house right now. Okay. All right, very nice. I see that you guys were uh, before looking in that Kannapolis area. Did he find something like to rent in that area? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very nice. And I see you have a 252 number. I'm from the 252 area. Where about are you from? Oh, really? Yes. Um, in Colrain, the thriving metropolis of Colrain. Okay. I don't, I don't know that I've heard of that. I grew up in like the Kinston Greenville area. Are you familiar? We're about an hour and 15 minutes from Greenville. Okay, okay, very nice, <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I seen the 252 number and I knew exactly East Carolina, so. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Awesome, so, and are you still over that way or had you made a move to this Charlotte area? No, we live here, but my, my son was the one that we were really looking for. Looking for, for. got it. Um, and I, <laughs> So at the present time, it was better for him to rent. So mm -hmm. he's, he's done that. So we're good for a while anyway. Yeah, at least for another year, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Well, is there anyone else in this area that you know we can uh, help out? Not that I know of, no. All righty then. Well, I will um, I will send you over an email. We do have your email just so you uh, have my contact information if anyone comes up. Okay. All thank righty, you. girl. Have a great day. Thank you. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, she is from me. And then what I do is just make my notes for the call. She's from a smaller town near the Greenville area. Um, son found a place near Kannapolis to rent out. They still personally. And see, one question I could have asked her is like, when are you making a move to uh, the Charlotte area? You know, because a lot of times people want to be close to their family, so that could have opened up a whole nother conversation. 
where, you know, it could have potentially led to her wanting to maybe move here in the next three to five years, things of that nature, especially for like retirement as you get older in age. Live in Eastern Tennessee. So I feel like this would be a good follow-up. Sun is good for at least a year from now. And yeah, just make my notes and keep on calling. Hi, Performance Real Estate Advisors. We're just checking in with you to see if your plans for purchasing investment has changed or if you were still kind of in the market. Um, I appreciate the outreach. Uh, I've had a lot of calls from you guys and it's not like, I think I'm starting to get emails from you guys of like houses, but um, yeah, you guys just keep, keep calling this like say, you know, hey, you're ready to buy a house, but there's like not many houses that you guys even send me. So I don't know, that's like, I need a little bit more value add for me to want to even look at buying a house, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, yeah, and then also like, yeah. I, I mean, was gonna ask. I'm so, are you are you getting too many? Time. I was gonna ask you, are you getting too many emails? Because I see it's coming to your email like daily. Is that too much? It's not the volume of emails. It's mm -hmm. I. It's I keep like your organization keeps calling me mm -hmm. and saying like, "Hey, you ready to buy a house yet?" But only now, I would say in the last like week or two, I've been seeing emails come through that fit, I guess, the criteria. Got it. Um, but it's I, 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 like, yeah, I just all I'm saying is that you guys keep calling me, but there's no like value add, so it's like, why would I? do business want, with like, yeah do business with yeah, the company that like, keep calling you yeah I'm in sales like I get it right I'm right saying, like so I, I I wouldn't mind if we do it maybe once a week for the email mm -hmm. and then if you guys are able to uh, maybe expand the search to up to I'd say minimum um three bed two bath anything under 600k uh, if you're able to just send me a search and then anything that has any sort of price adjustments as well okay and price drops that would be great and that's and you know what that's great feedback too because when i'm looking at your profile i'm not seeing from our team that we're calling so we should be logging the call so that you're not getting bombarded you know with calls um it yeah, looks I mean, like the last once, once, yeah once a month or so but like oh, okay. it's always a different person and it right. doesn't seem like I don't, know. I don't know if the notes transfer over, but it just seems like there's uh, it, it, I've had to do the cold calling too. I do the cold calling. I feel like sometimes mm -hmm. I pick up when people are just trying to hit their numbers for the number of cold calls they're supposed to make. And it's not like, a, you know, hey, I have an update or I have an exciting opportunity mm -hmm. or house that's not on the market yet that you might be interested in. That's a client that we're selling, right? Like a client we're listing for. Mm -hmm. um, that would be exciting to see because uh, just, I mean, I know it's more of a buyer's market right now, but I'm just saying those are just some things to consider. Right, right. Instead of, hey, want to buy a house. Um, because the last right. note that we had um, on your profile was from Aaron like a few months ago back in January. Uh, and the only thing that I'm kind of seeing on here is like interested in off market opportunities, uh, but just kind of wanting to take your time and that you were in the Denver area um, and renting for 12 months, but I'm not sure how valid that is or exactly what all you are looking for. Got it. Maybe it's a different real estate company. I think I maybe reached out to two. Okay. Um, I but six hundred k under six hundred k three bed to that. Um, I'm looking for developing areas, so I don't want like the cook. I don't want the cookie cutter houses that like are you know look like a box, mm -hmm. um, but meet the fair foot um, square footage. I'm not really like interested in that mm -hmm. i'm open to up and coming neighborhoods i don't know the areas i would ask you guys to provide recommendations on or add those areas to this the mls search mm -hmm. um i don't know what the up and coming areas are i would be looking at it for 
a either an investment or a property where I would house hack, where I purchased a house and then I rent room, rooms out mm-hmm. as one way, or the other approach would be buy a house. Maybe it's a little rundown, which I'm fine with. I have the capability to do DIY and fix it up and so forth and rent rooms out while I do that and then um, refi with the equity um, mm-hmm. that I've put in to develop the property. So those are some of the options under 600K, um, three bed, two bath, and then outside of that, I'd leave it up to you guys on like recommended areas. Right. Um, I don't want it to be too far from the city. I also think that it's better to be closer to the airport. Mm-hmm. I'd say under a 30 minute drive to the airport. Um, so okay. I, I'll leave it up to you guys on recommendations. You guys are the, the property experts. Um, <laughs> so if you're able to create a search that's kind of centered around that, that would be great. Awesome. And then I was going to ask you, so are you still in that Denver area? Or are you kind of like close by to actually lay your odds on the property? I'm in South End right now renting a property or I'm in an apartment right now. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. All right. Well, I do have some. I was living, yeah. I was living in, yeah, okay. I was living in um, uh, Denver. I relocated and now I'm in South End. Okay. And you've been in South End for how long now? Uh-huh. November, so contract ends in November, but I don't mind breaking the lease if it's for the right property. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I will update your search because right now the properties that we're sending you is in, uh, all encompassing of what you're looking for. Um, and mm-hmm. then you say that you were not interested in like the new development cookie cutter, like you're looking for something with a little bit more um, charm, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, I don't mind a new development, but I know the difference in quality of mm-hmm. home. Yeah. So, like, the problem is that, like, the, the 300,000 townhome yeah. is probably fine, but a 400,000 single-family home is probably built, and excuse my language, is probably built with a pile of shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's not a good house. Yeah. And I know that based off the call. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if there are new developments and it's, like, Four fifty, five fifty, but it's a quality build, mm-hmm. and you can tell by the materials that they use. Right. Great, I'm fine with that. But there are, and I'm sure you guys are aware, there are some properties where you look at that house and like, I mm-hmm. know that house is built with mm-hmm. the cheapest materials possible, mm-hmm. and I don't want to deal with that. Got it. Okay. Well, that's good to know. And then I know this is going to be an investment property for you, but are you, and you mentioned that you would potentially house hack it, so you are looking to at least occupy one of the bedrooms correct okay okay it'll, it'll be a primary Got so it. it's, it's like for the cheaper properties that are probably townhomes mm-hmm. i might be able to swing it as an investment property solely um but for most of it it's going to be like it would be my primary residence and i would just rent out yeah okay very good nice to know i will um i'll personally take charge and kind of take you um i guess away from the team and uh seeing you properties that are more fitting for you and then if you do actually come across properties where you're like no camille this is not what i'm looking for like don't hesitate to respond back to the email and let me know um and then that way you aren't kind of like getting tossed around and things of that nature by everyone on our team because we do really have a a proactiveness to reaching out to everyone so if you're getting too many calls you know my apologies on behalf of the team no i appreciate it i appreciate the uh, the uh, initiative and looking forward to see what you guys are able to send over of course of course well uh, did you have any other questions that i can answer for you i think um because you said that how long have you been in living in charlotte like in that south end area since November. Oh, since November. I thought you said your lease ends in November. It does. Oh, okay. um, I moved in November and so it's a 12 month lease. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, you're, and you're absolutely correct. Like that Denver area, uh, up towards North is like a lot of development going up that way. Um, as well as. I, so I moved from Denver, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, we have a Denver, North Carolina too. I, I'm familiar. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah. So like, I'm. I'm just looking at anywhere. I'm not necessarily mm-hmm. spoke, focused on like Denver, North mm-hmm. Carolina. Right. Right. I just want to make sure that I, I relocated from Denver, Colorado. Mm-hmm. I'm open to 
uh, just anywhere north near like Lake Norman mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, if there is anything around there, but I'm open to any area that's within, I would say probably 15 to 20 miles of Charlotte. Got it. As long as it's an up and coming area and there's not an area that is like shady. Mm-hmm. And I'm fine with a little bit of, you know, gentrification and stuff, but if there's a lot of crime, I'm not trying to deal with that. Got it. Okay. Well, I will definitely um, keep that in mind and update the search. Again, if you are not seeing uh, properties that sort of fit what you're looking for, you can let me know. Um, but I'll continue to send you a few properties that, you know, is in line with what you what your goals are. Awesome. Sounds like plan. All righty, Lyle. Well, thank you for taking my call today, and I look forward to sure. staying in touch. All right. Thanks for your time. All righty. Bye. Bye. what we're going to do um i'm going to personally uh transfer him over to my bucket so that our team isn't giving him you know what i mean so many calls because we do have a proactive approach to reaching out to people but i do understand where he's coming from uh in regards to just do you want to buy a house do you want to buy a house do you want to buy a house um, and yet, typically, we're not going to be like working, working, working for an individual who does not have a um, an agency agreement signed with us. Um, but he do have a very valid point of he kind of wants to see a little bit more value before he decides to commit and do business with us. So I'm going to personally move him to my bucket. And what I'm going to do is kind of expand uh, his search areas as well to more up and coming cities and things of that nature, his price range and go in and do all of the things. So, and of course he don't want any type of cookie cutter, you know, situation. So yeah, we're gonna expand this. And go from there. So we've got Kinevelis, Denver. We're going to add Gastonia. Um, let's see. But he don't want to be too far from the airport. So we don't want to go super far. Um, but yes, I'm gonna make notes and see if we can uh, get him on board and just, you know, provide more value. That's really what he's looking for. So, and he's he's smart. Stanley is another good area. Stanley, Dallas, uh, David, San Cornelius, Stanley, Dallas. I'm gonna do Stanley and Dallas, Stanley in Dallas. Okay. And I'm going to make my notes. Uh, hey Dean, this is Camille with the High Performance Real Estate Advisors. I was giving... I'm sorry? I'm sorry, what was that? I'm gonna call back. Hey, sorry, I think my phone cut out. I'm sorry about that. Um, I was, can you hear me okay? Yes, but this is not Dean. Dean does not have this number. Oh, got it. Okay, that's what you're saying. Okay, no worries. Sorry about that. All right, thank you. All right, bye. So since this is not Dean's number, I'm just going to remove the number from the profile because um, I don't want them to continue to get calls. 
So we're gonna move on to the next person. I hope you guys are finding this helpful. Let's call Jennifer. finished recording you may hang up hi jennifer this is camille with the high performance real estate advisors just giving you a call to check in i know you i have spoke with movement mortgage and taylor and christian before so we're just reaching out to check in to see if anything has changed on your end and also just be here to answer any questions you have when you get this message you can give me or christian a call back or you can uh send over a text we look forward to speaking with you soon and have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. A voicemail. Phone has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, Caleb, this is Camille with the High Performance Real Estate Advisors. Uh, you spoke with uh, Landon on our team before about uh, buying a home, and I know that your lease has, I believe, ended. Just calling to see if you renewed that, if you're in a month to month, or if you're still looking to buy. When you get this message, you can give me a call back at this telephone number, or if it's easier for you to text, you can text this number as well. Just call and see where you are in the process and how we can help you out. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Make it a great day and enjoy your weekend. Call, leave a message. I think I want to try to call him again tomorrow. So I'm going to set a task for myself, especially because his lease um, ended in March or May. So I just want to see like where he is in the process, you know? I am so hungry. Hello? Hey, Christina, this is Camille with the High Performance Real Estate Advisors. Uh, I was just giving you a call to do a quarterly check-in and see if there was anything that we could help you out with. You're calling from real, you're a real estate advisor? Yes, I'm a real estate advisor with the High Performance Real Estate team. Uh, before you spoke with Brian, and I know you're currently renting, but we're just, oh, yeah. yeah, we're just calling to check in. I know you don't have any plans to buy anytime soon, but we still want to touch base to see if there was any questions you had um, that we can help you out with. Not right now. So I'm contracted with my company to stay in Charlotte until October of next year. And then I'm likely not staying in Charlotte. So that's why I'm just, you know, not going to get into buying right now because I don't really know where life will take me. Mm -hmm. Understand that. Um, with that company, is that like a the, the trend with the company? Like they kind of like relocate you every year and you're stationed there until... I uh, that contract is no. up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I um got a promotion and then selected to transfer because they were providing a bonus if you transferred. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just kind of a temporary for the moment thing I did, but it's a two year contract because they pay you to transfer. If that got makes it. sense. Yeah, that makes but sense. My company sense. is national, so I can live anywhere from you know the East Coast to California if I want to. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I'm not really. You know, yeah. sure where life will take me. <laughs> For sure. That makes a lot of sense. And it's good to be able to take advantage of that too. Um, while that's not not many people are fortunate to have the opportunity to just live and work wherever. So that's nice. Right. That's very nice. Well right. well, since we can't help you out, did you have anyone uh, within your workplace who may be looking to make a move here in the Charlotte area that we can assist? Uh not yet. Not that I can think of mm -hmm. um but if i do i'll definitely recommend you guys absolutely absolutely we would definitely appreciate that um well i hope you have a great day and enjoy your weekend ahead it's going to be a good one thank you you too thank you christina have a great day okay. bye okay so i'm going to make some notes 
anyways guys um that is pretty much the gist of me generating a business here as you can see i have not set any sort of consultations or further steps this is all really like nurturing the people that are currently in our database and seeing where they are with things um obviously the more contacts you make right the closer you get to that pot of gold of finding someone that you can actually help out right now or in the next few months and it's really just about maintaining those relationships and being of service and contributing value so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me lead generating in my little mini office and if you have any questions about lead generation um or anything you can think of i don't know whatever you, whatever comes to mind please don't hesitate to hop down in the comments below and of course if you are considering making a move here to north carolina buying or selling i'm happy to be of assistance to you and i will also uh, have my contact information in the description box thank you for tuning into this video and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next one make it a great day bye